Hello friends this is Web's lesson video tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to convert Google chart into PDF file format by using PHP script. Here we have used DOM PDF library for convert Google chart into PDF file format using PHP script. There are many video we have published on Google Chart Library then at that time many viewers we have to ask how to make PDF file from this Google Chart. For this we have published this video tutorial and in this we will make dynamic Google Pie Chart and convert into PDF format using PHP script with DOM PDF library. Now let's start discussing this topic this is testing database and in this database we have one employee table with table column like ID, name, address, gender, designation, age and image. We have already inserted some data into this table. Now we have using this data for making simple pie chart and in that pie chart we want to display male and female employee percentage wise in pie chart. This is our working folder and here we have index.php file, create pdf.php file, pdf.php and dom pdf library folder. Now we have open index file in this and in this file we have already included library link of bootstrap library, jquery library and google chart library url also. After this we have go html code part and here we have write division tag with id is equal to pie chart. We will make pie chart under this division tag using google chart library. Now we have moved to write javascript code. So here we have write google.charts.load method with current argument and second argument we have packages core chart. It will load the visualization API and chart package. Below this we have write google.charts.set on load callback method with draw chart function. It will set a callback to run when the Google visualization API is loaded. Now we have make one function draw chart function. This function will make pie chart which has been called above callback function. Under this function we have write dollar data variable is equal to google visualization dot array to data table method. Here we have create data table. Under this we have write first row with column name like gender and number, here other data will be loaded dynamically from MYSQL database. So here first we have dollar $connect variable is equal to nupta class object with three argument like MYSQL host is equal to local host, database set to testing, Username set to root and password set blank. After making database we want to write query variable is equal to select gender count start as number from employee table group by gender. This query will return the number of male and female employee in this employee table. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable. This statement make query for execution. Now we want to execute query. 
so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will execute query. After query execution we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will fetch query result which has been store under dollar result variable. Now here we have write for each loop with dollar result variable as dollar row variable, by using this dollar row variable will fetch data from dollar result variable using for each loop. Under this loop we have write echo statement with in first column we have write dollar row gender variable and in second column we have write dollar row number variable, this way data table will be filled with data. After this we have write variable options variable, here we have set the chart options. Under this first we have write title option set to percentage of male and female employee, this is chart title. After this we have write pie hole option set to 0.4, this option will convert pie chart to donut chart. After set charts options, now here we have write chart area variable is equal to document dot get element id method with division tag id pie chart, here we have define html tag in which we have to make pie chart. Below this we have write variable chart is equal to new google.visualization.pie chart method with chart area variable, it will initialize google chart library pie chart method. Now we have write google.visualization.events.add listener method with argument like chart variable, ready event and callback function. Under this callback function we have write chart area variable dot inner html is equal to image tag with source attribute is equal to chart variable dot get image URI method, this method will convert chart to png image. Lastly we have write chart dot draw method with two argument like data variable and options variable, it will draw pie chart which will be converted into PNG image and display under division tag with ID pie chart. Friends here we can see when page has been load into browser then we can see pie chart on web page which has been make by using dynamic data, now we want to convert this google chart to pdf file. So on index page here we have write form tag with method is equal to post. ID is equal to make PDF and action is equal to create PDF.php, so when form submitted then it will redirect to this create PDF.php file. Under this form we have write input type is equal to hidden, name is equal to hidden HTML and ID is equal to hidden HTML. Under this field we will store HTML code of division tag with ID is equal to testing. Lastly we have write button tag with type is equal to button, name is equal to create PDF, ID is equal to create PDF and make PDF button text, when we will click on button then form will be submitted using jQuery. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, and here we have write dollar with button id create pdf with click event, 
so when we have click on button then this block of code will execute. Under this block we have write dollar with hidden field id hidden html with value method and under this we have write dollar with division tag id testing with html method. So here whichever html code of this testing division tag which has been store under this hidden field as value. Lastly we have write dollar with form id make pdf with submit method, this method will submit form and send request to create pdf.php file for make pdf from this google chart. Now we have moved to write php code in pdf.php file and here we have write require one statement with dom pdf slash auto load dot ink dot php, here we have include dom pdf library auto load file. Below this we have write use statement with dom pdf forward slash dom pdf by using this statement with dompdf class. Now have write class statement with pdf name extends dompdf, here we have create pdf class which extends all properties of dompdf class. Under this class we have write public function with construct magic function, this function has been called if object of this class has been created. Under this function we have write parent statement with construct magic function, here we have called parent class construct method, it will called parent class construct method when new object of this class has been created. Now we have go to create pdf.php file and here we have write include statement with pdf.php, here we have include this pdf class here. After this here we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post hidden html variable and dollar post hidden html variable value not equal to blank. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code and here we have write dollar file name variable is equal to google chart dot pdf. Below this we have write dollar html variable is equal to link tag with ref is equal to bootstrap library name by using this we can use bootstrap library under dom pdf also. After this we have write dollar html variable and under this variable we have append value of dollar post hidden html variable. So this way we have store html code under this dollar html variable. Now we have write dollar pdf variable is equal to new pdf class, here we have create object of this pdf class. Below this we have write dollar pdf object with load html method with dollar html variable, it this method will load html code. After this we have write dollar pdf with render method, this method will render html to pdf. And lastly we have write dollar pdf object with stream method with two argument like dollar file name variable and array attachment key set to false. This method will returns pdf as a string on browser, and this second option is for stop to download file but it will display pdf in browser. Now we have check output in browser. 
Friends first we have refresh page and here we can see pie chart and below we can see make PDF button when we have click on this button then this Google chart will be converted into PDF format. So we have click on this make PDF button and after click on this button Google pie chart has been converted into PDF format which we can see on web page. Chart is a graphical representation of data on web page and if this is converted into PDF format then in management meeting it will represent in PDF file format for discussion, so it is very important and it is share as file. In this video we have discussed how to make PNG file from Google chart library, how to convert Google Chart into PDF file, how to use Bootstrap library in DOM PDF library for use functionality of Bootstrap library in PDF formatting. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.